Hi there. In this video, we're going to learn how to open a notebook or create a new notebook on any device. So we'll look at the desktop computers, laptops, uh, tablets, and smartphones. So I'm starting off on my desktop computer, and here I'm just open to a page. I'm just going to show you the notebook I'm on. So I'm on the classroom notebook, if we can notice at the top there. So I want to create a new notebook from my desktop and then show you how to open it on other devices. Let's start with that example. So I'm going to click on the word classroom to get to my other notebooks. And from this menu, I can choose not more notebooks because I want to create a new one. So I have to go all the way down to where it says add notebook. Click on that and type in a new notebook name. Okay, so my notebook name for our example is Project April. So we see a brand new notebook on our desktop. The notebook name at the top is Project April. It has a new section and untitled page. So really there's nothing in this notebook yet, but before we add stuff to it, I wanna show you how to open up this notebook on other devices. Okay, I'm in OneNote on my iPhone, and this will look very similar on the Android as well. The first screen I get is the notebooks that I have open already. And so the notebook I just created for Project April is not showing on my iPhone yet, so I need to go to the bottom of this list where it says More Notebooks and choose that. So from no More Notebooks, that's where I'm looking for Project April. It just happens to be one of the more recent notebooks that we've used, so it's at the top of the list. If it wasn't, you can go down this list and you also have a Browse button. The Browse button will let you open up a notebook from other accounts that you might have for Microsoft. So this could be work accounts or personal accounts. So we'll choose Project April, and then we'll go into Project April to see our untitled section and our untitled page. So we see our untitled section here. We can certainly edit that if we want from our phone or from any device really. But if I just choose edit from here, then I have to select that. I could have just held it down as well from my phone. And at the very bottom, there in the middle, there's an icon that lets me do some typing. So I'm going to choose that and rename my section. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the section to get to the page. And that's where we see untitled page. And again, we want to change the name of the page. So we're going to actually just go into the page. And from the top of the page, where it says untitled page, we can just select that. So we can change the name of the title by double tapping on it or even just and moving over that selection with that little dot at the bottom and just typing in the new page name. So now we have our notebook page and our notes that we did on the iPhone and we can go back to our desktop and we'll see these notes there. So it doesn't matter which device you're on, you can make changes anywhere. Okay, now I'm on my iPad a tablet to show you the same notebook page that I'm starting off in from the classroom notebook. And I'm gonna navigate to my other notebooks. So just at the top left here, the arrow. And then if you notice on the left side here, recent notes, that project notebook that we want is not showing there. So I'm gonna go to more notebooks at the bottom. And from the more notebooks, I have to look for project April and it's right there towards the top. I can choose that. So that loads a test section and the test from the iPhone. Let's add a page here that says it's a test from the iPad. All right, so now we have two pages on our different devices. Let's go back to the desktop computer and verify it there. All right, so we're back on the desktop and you see Project April's at the top here. Test section is the only section we had. And we have our test from the iPhone and the test from the iPad that are both showing up here. So it doesn't matter which device we're on. We can open our notebooks from any of the devices. As you saw, we create on one, open from the other ones. And so opening meant we went to the more option for more notebooks. If I happen to create a notebook on my iPad or my iPhone, and then I want to open it on my desktop, I would go to my notebooks area here and, and say more notebooks there, as opposed to creating, which is just add notebook. So a little bit of a difference, but this way you can access those notebooks on any device. It doesn't matter where you created it, open it up in other devices, and that way you can update it whenever you want. All right, so try that out. Bye-bye.